we're going to drop this object from the same height. Uh, and this object has a mass of 66 grams. What was the height initial class? 70.0 70. 70. centimeters. But, Go ahead. Wasn't there a here? Ah, we'll talk about that in just a second. Okay. So, what do we need you to do? Go ahead, set it up. Why don't you just do the same thing? Okay, so what you need to do is I need you to hold this at 74.5 centimeters above so it goes through a displacement of 70 centimeters down. Uh, and it's important that it goes kind of near the middle, so you gotta yeah, hold yeah, it. Yeah, I was just. Okay. Sure. You ready? Yeah. Let me know? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So now we have, thank you, you got it done. We have our collision. So we're going to highlight just our collision right here, which is this piece. And we have, okay. So the information we have so far, the mass is 66 grams. We have that height initial of 70 centimeters. We have the impulse, which is the area under the curve, which is 0 0.24 newton seconds. And we can figure out some stuff. Oh, we also have the mean. We have the average force, which is right here, the 20.11 newtons. Okay, so we can go through and figure out a bunch of stuff. The first thing we can see is we have um, the impulse and, yeah. So let's go through impulse is equal to the change in momentum, right? David, what is change in momentum? What does that mean? Uh, the change in momentum. Yeah, so the mathematical equation means. So it, it means the momentum final minus the momentum initial. Momentum final minus momentum initial. We know momentum is mass times velocity. So this is mass times velocity final minus mass times velocity initial. We have the impulse, it's 0.24. We have the mass, it's 66 grams, but we need that in kilograms. So that is 1,000 grams on the bottom, one kilogram on the top, we get 0 0.066 kilograms. 0 0.066 kilograms. Velocity final, what is the final velocity? Where'd my music go? Oh, what's the final velocity of the beanbag class? Zero. Is it exactly zero? Yeah. No, but it's pretty darn close. Agreed? Okay. Because it stops after the collision. Velocity final is zero. Again, mass 0 0.066 and velocity initial. So we can solve for the initial velocity of the beanbag. The velocity initial of the beanbag is 0 0.24 divided by negative 0 0.066. What is that? Please, I need the number. What do we get? Um, I got 3.636 repeating. Uh, 636 repeating. With the three repeating or both the six and the three? Both the six and the three. Okay. And it's negative. Why is it negative? Maddie? Is it because it's going down? It's simply because it's going down. Notice this is the velocity initial during the collision, which is right here, and it is going down. Uh, Mr. North. So the point too far, that's the integral change in force with relation, like relative to change in time. That is the area under the curve, yep. All right, how are we, are we, if we do like a problem where we don't have your board thing, if we do that out? Ah, so this is, so your question, to be clear, is how would I figure out the area under this curve? 
Yeah. Okay. So in this class, because we, it's not a calculus class, you'll be given something that is of a shape that you would know, like a triangle or a rectangle or something like that. The reality is, is that you're going to have some sort of expression that will describe it, and then you would use the integral, but that would be calculus. And we, it's not a calculus based class. Okay. So if we know the initial velocity, which is the initial velocity right before the collision, we can solve for the height, right? But now it's important to realize that we're actually talking about two different parts. We have part one, which is the free fall portion, and then we have part two, which is the collision with the ground, right? So we have, so we're, this is actually part two. Part one, how are we going to solve for the height initial from which we dropped it? Uh, Mr. Norman. Uh, we could either use a UA. Mm -hmm. Is that All right, or we could use conservation of mechanical energy. Let's use conservation of mechanical energy. Let's set our zero line at the top of the platform. We'll set our final point right before it strikes the platform and our initial point at the very top. So again, zero line is going to be right here. Initial point is up here. Final point is right before it strikes the platform. Conservation mechanical, mechanical energy initial equals mechanical energy final. Tell me, uh, Kyle, what sort of energy does the feedback start? And I guess I'll put ones here because this is part one. Gravitational potential energy. All it has is gravitational potential energy. Tell me about the other two. Um, you have um, a, a spring energy. There's no spring. And? And uh, kinetic energy. Is there a velocity initial? No. No. What about mechanical energy final? Tell me about mechanical energy final. Um, yeah. Um. Does not have the spring. No spring, no elastic potential energy. It does not have the potential energy. Does not have gravitational potential energy because the height final is zero. Yeah. So, it only has so it only has kinetic energy. Maddie? Why does it, is the final velocity the negative? 3.63 meters per second that we found. Correct. Okay. So notice this was the initial velocity for part two, which is the same as the final velocity for part one. Great. Oh, come on, people. Everybody, Everybody brought mass. Everybody brought mass. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody put a brought mass to the party. We can be equitable. We can take mass from everyone. We end up with the acceleration due to gravity times the height initial is equal to the velocity for part one of final squared divided by two. Solving for height initial for part, or I'm sorry, for part one is velocity one final squared divided by two times the acceleration due to gravity. Velocity one final is, as Maddie pointed out, 3.63 repeating negative, that quantity squared, divided by 2 times 9.81. Height 1 initial, please. Zero point six seven three. Uh, I don't think we're going to end up with that because this is three point six, which we're going to square. Um, second zero point. Zero point six seven three nine. Everybody get that? Yeah. Okay. Zero point six seven nine three, and this is the height initial. Or three nine six. That's fine. Three nine six. So with sig figs. We have 0 0.68 meters. What was our initial height supposed to be? Seven. Pretty close? Yeah. Pretty close. 